Hello, everybody. We are back with another visual pattern challenge. So today we have a pattern of strawberries. Here's step one in the pattern. Here's step two. And here's step three. And the challenge would, would be, can you look at this pattern and then determine how many strawberries in step four? And if you can do that, can you determine how many in step 43? And could you write an equation that could be used to express the number of strawberries in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video and give it a try. Okay, so let's see if we can just visually determine what's going on here. Hmm. There's three, and then there's seven, and then there's a lot more. What is that? 13. Um, so it looks like it's getting big pretty quickly. So I'm thinking maybe this isn't a simple linear pattern. Um, what pattern it is, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see if we can just look at the structure of this and predict step four. I guess what I'm noticing is we've got two rows and then three rows and then four rows. So I would guess in the next step there'd be five rows. And then the bottom row is always one longer. So this is going to be our longer row. And the long row has two, three, four. So I would guess this would be five. And the shorter rows have one, two, three. So I guess this would be four. So I think that's the pattern. And let's see, that would make four times four, 16 plus five. That'd be 21. So I'm going to predict that there will be 21 strawberries in the next step. But let's look at all of our numbers really carefully to see if we can figure out what kind of a pattern this is. I'm going to make a chart with the step number and the number of berries. So in step one, we've got three berries. In step two, that is seven. In step three, yeah, that is 13. And in step four, we're saying 21. Once we arrange the numbers like this, we like to take the difference between each step. So seven minus three, that's four. 13 minus 7 is 6. 21 minus 13 is 8. Uh -huh. So we're not getting a constant here in our differences. So that means it's not a linear pattern. We can take the difference of the differences, though. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. When that is a constant, we know it's a quadratic. So this has an x squared going on some way. So let's go back to the pattern and see if we can figure out how that would be. It's not just going to be y equals x squared, because that would be 1 and then 4. And we've got 3 and 7. So something more complicated is going on than that. I think the way I'm going to approach this is to try to draw an x squared, a step number squared, in each step. So 1 squared would just be 1 strawberry. So that's actually, let me do this. Let me put it up here. 1 squared there. And then 2 squared, that would be this 2 by 2 square of berries. And then step 3 squared would be this square of berries. And then what's left over is, well, 2 and then 3 and then 4, which looks like it's the step number plus 1. It's one bigger than the step number. So I've got 2 in step 1. I've got 3 in step 2. So the step number is x, and then it'd be plus 1. So I think this is our equation. Um, let's try it, though. So if we did, so y is going to be the number of berries, and we did 1 squared, the step number squared, plus the step number plus 1 would be 3. Yeah, let's try that for 2. So this is 2 squared plus the step number plus 1. That's 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, that, that works for step 2. Let's try it in step 3. So y equals 3 squared plus the step number plus 1. So that'd be 9, and 3 more would be 12, 13. Yeah, this is coming out. So I think we can pre be pretty confident our equation is x squared plus x plus 1. So that looks good. Now we can use that to figure out um, the step uh, or the number of berries in step 43. What we'll do is we'll just replace uh, x in our equation with the step number 43. So let's do that. So 43 squared plus 43 plus 1. And 43 squared is 1,849. I think I've got that one memorized from all these uh, 43 patterns we've had. Uh, and then we're going to add 43. Well, we're going to add 44 to it, right? 43 plus 1 will be 44. So that's 13, and that's 9. So 1,893 berries in step 43. Well, how did that go for you? Did you see this pattern? Did you get 21 for step 4? 
Were you able to arrive at this kind of complicated equation? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.